Good morning Kiri Kiri. Damn, this place is beautiful. I'm down at a place called Aroha Island and uh, I'm waiting for a local guy to text me back to go on a mission. The birds are starting to work over there just behind me. Looks like an oyster farm or something, so I might go fishing right there. Let's go. Bro Johnson's turned up, we're heading out on a bit of a mission. Yeah bro, we're out there bro. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> bro Johnson just rigging up, Yee. just about getting amongst today bro. Right, we're in there soon bro. Birds diving, fish splashing, should be into the kahawa almost straight away I reckon. Today we'll be starting off with a few soft baits to target these kahawai and I'll be using this kaipirinha flavour from Catch. This is definitely one of my top 5 colours and it's a good option to start off with. Bro's hooked up! Oh, nice kahawai bro. Nice fish bro. Good size kahawai. That's the one you're talking about, eh? Get a bit better size for the smoker. Yeah, mate. Right. And there's my effort down there. And somehow he's got a hook back through his shoulders and he's going back down. Hooked up again. Is that another kahi? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good bait size, eh? Right, mate. Me? Nice bait fish. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mine's a little red one. He's going to have to go back. It doesn't take us too long to secure a decent feed of kahawai, but we're in search of some bigger snapper, so we decide to move on and see what we can find. A change of location and a change of strategy also calls for a change of rig as we decide we're going to stray line some cut baits and see if we can secure a few decent sized snapper. So here I am tying on my favourite hook, a BKK 9 bar row circle hook with my favourite knot, the long line is snell. For bait today we'll be using a mixture of grey mullet that I caught in the net yesterday and some of the smaller kahawai from this morning. The fish has been filleted and cut into rectangular strip baits and I like to put the hook through just once. We cast our baits into the current behind the boat and let them slowly float down to the bottom and it doesn't take long till quabam! Johnson is hooked up! Not bad though, not too far off. Get in there bro, get in there. But then all of a sudden, bam! it was my turn to call. film Johnson pulling in another fish. Nice fish bro, well done. Bro, showing me how it's done in Kiri Kiri. No, 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 no. Bro, I need to catch myself something for dinner, I'm going to be hungry tonight. <laughs> nice fish bro, well done. Finally, I started getting some nibbles, and then, bam! Hopefully, this one's dinner. That one's gonna be dinner. That's a goodie, bro. Nice red. In the bag. Bro, sorry about that. Good cameraman. You got your one, Mr. 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 Mean Bite while I was sorting my fish out. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. And then I hooked up to what felt like a very nice snapper. Yeah, Things were going very, very well until we I think I've got sharks, bro. But that just got crazy heavy. That's not a snapper, <laughs> Busted. Yeah. Sharked. Never mind. It's obviously big toothy critters up in Kiri Kiri too. <laughs> All good. Oh yeah, it's a fish bro, it's a fish. Yes. Oh yeah, it's in the bag bro. Nice fish bro, well done. Beautiful eater. We'll be eating fish tonight brother. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the bro Johnson were getting on like a house on fire, so the banter was pretty thick and creamy. And I have to say, 
The fishing was pretty consistent, especially considering neither of us had any spots. All the seasons in the day, eh brother? And stop us. We fish on. Oh, nibbles. Oh, nibbles. A little bit of squally weather and a few showers blew through, but certainly not enough to deter me or the bro Johnson, and we managed a couple more fat kahawai for the table before we decided to pull the pin. Beautiful kahawai. Oh well, brother Johnson, pretty good mission, eh? Yeah, not too bad. Brother. We've got us a feed. We're out of here. Mission's done. Let's get back before the tide runs out. going to say how good are you at swimming? <laughs> Got to get the old bilge pump going. <laughs> Not a bad snaps at all bro. Not a bad snaps bro. Very respectable bin. Yeah that's fucking all good bro. Well, that's all good. Me, brother. Yeah, Thank you. I'll tell you a story when you're working, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, I, fishing with a mate of mine is a bit older than me one day, and we caught a few snap about that size, and I started filleting like this. And he said, Do you still do it that way? And and then he said, um, and he showed me another way to fill it that his father had showed him. And it, it was uh, completely different somehow. He, uh, oh, how would it have been? Um, so I remember thinking now when I look back, because I said, oh no, I'd just do it this way. But looking back, I often thought, should I wish I asked him that? Because his way seemed a hell of a lot simpler and quicker and tidier. And, um, <laughs> but he's dead now, so I can never find out. Snapper. Oh, I got a few kahawa as well. But yeah, not bait, too bad. Bait one. Well, all I right. bled some nice ones in the bin there. Do you want a couple of kahawa? By all means. Some cousins I'm going to see in the weekend. I'm like, that'll make them happy. Yeah. Drop them off on the way. Awesome, mate. Oh, that'd be awesome, mate. Cool. Shit, they're all right. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Oh, welcome. Massive shout out to the bro Johnson for making the drive down here to meet me today. What an epic little session and I look forward to catching up with you in the near future. And of course to all of you at home, thank you for watching.